Early this year, I got promoted. I went from a junior data scientist to a mid-level. And in this video, I want to go over several bits of advice and tips that I think really helped me land that promotion. The first and most important tip is that make sure you understand how the promotion process works at your company. I mean, you can't get promoted if you don't even know the steps to take. Even though most tech companies have kind of a similar structure, every company is different depending on size, industry, etc. So make sure you find some sort of document, page. Chances are there'll be something in a company that explains the promotion process to you. And if you can't find one, then just ask your manager and see if they know about the process and how it works. The main thing is you want to do this kind of scoping way ahead of time that you're planning to apply for. You don't want to be looking at what the promotion process is like, kind of right as it goes live. You want to have time to prepare, understand how it works, to make sure you've kind of aligned everything beforehand. Whether you like it or not, you're very unlikely to get promoted if people don't know who you are. Typically, the promotion process goes through people a lot senior than your manager, like VPs, CTOs, the management team, and chances are you probably don't work on daily projects with these type of people. For these people to understand the work you're doing, you have to show it to them and also the wider company. Obviously, don't go around the office and on Slack ranting and raving about the great work you are doing. That's not what I'm saying. But make sure you kind of take every opportunity to present the things you found or the insights you've created. Also, create write-ups and share them online on Slack. I understand that some people get a bit nervous and apprehensive about kind of showing themselves out there like this, but it's a very useful skill to have to digest your insights and understanding to kind of like a non-technical audience. Regardless if you're going for promotion or not, it's a very, very invaluable skill to have as a data scientist. There is nothing wrong with doing your day-to-day -day tasks to a very high standard. But if you want to progress that mid-level, you have to start taking ownership of your work and projects. You basically want to say things like, I am the person responsible for X, or I am the person who owns Y. Basically, you're the kind of main person behind something, and that's like a really powerful thing to have because it shows independent working and leadership. The way you can do this is just by taking a proactive approach in fixing common processes and algorithms. Don't wait to be told what to do. Instead, actually seek kind of ways to improve things. As a junior, you're right at the bottom of the experience and knowledge pyramid. So it's really important that you often seek feedback to improve your current understanding. I often request feedback on any bit of work that I do from someone more senior. If I did some modeling, I would ask a data scientist to review. If I did some analysis, I would ask a data analyst to review. If I did some coding and have a pull request, I would ask a software engineer to review. The point is I always seek feedback from different types of people and how I can improve my work. And having these various inputs from people who are really talented will just naturally make you a better data scientist and just a better kind of professional overall. Going from junior to mid-level, a big part of it is improving your technical skills. As a junior, you probably have quite elementary knowledge of data science and probably aren't too familiar in working in production code systems. Depending on your role, company and industry you work in, I really recommend in investing time, maybe even outside of hours, in upskilling yourself in the data science knowledge you need exactly for your role. For example, in my current role, I work in the forecasting and optimization teams. So I have spent the last year and a half basically just learning as much as I can about those two areas. The main goal of investing in your technical skills is that you can develop your data science, coding, statistics abilities to the point where you can work independently on projects within the current team or domain that you're operating in in your company. To ensure your promotion case is as complete as possible, make sure you track all your achievements no matter how big or small they may be. This can range from massive model improvements to doing a presentation to stakeholders. Everything should be recorded. The way you can do this is by simply having a Word document, Excel file, just any kind of living document online that you can track all your achievements with. No doubt what you did, how you did it, what was the outcome, what was the feedback you got. 
And if you can really get quotes of what people said about your work, that's really powerful and will really further your promotion case that much more. If you're interested in improving your data science skills, then make sure you check out my newsletter, Dishing the Data. I send it every Monday morning, and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. I'll link it in the description below in case you want to check it out. Make sure you click the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.